You know what we say in Creole? They say blood is thick as water. Blood is thicker than water. You can delay the blood relationship, but you cannot deny the relationship. So it could take 100 years, 50 years, 200 years. But when that time comes, that rings that bell in your system that I have to go and find my people. So it comes as a dream. And when that inspiration comes on you, nothing will stop you. And that is what has happened today. That you are here as a result of the lineage and the blood that is fighting back. You have to go. Right now, Sierra Leone is the only country that I'm aware of that is granting citizenship based on African ancestry results. You have to have an authenticated certificate from African ancestry, and then they do the ceremonies at certain points in the year. Uh, my name is Diallo Summary. I'm the Director of Partnerships for African Ancestry. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! So we put this event together um, because we wanted to celebrate all 50, 60, 70 people that are here in town connecting with their ancestry and obtaining citizenship. So if you are here because you've traced your ancestry with AfricanAncestry.com, let's make some noise, please. The Honorable Vice President, distinguished guests. Please rise for the arrival of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Dr. Julius Madabio, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Fountain of Honor and Justice. We stand in solidarity every day with Jamal Clark, Amud Adbri, Breonna Taylor, Philando Castile, George Floyd, and Dante Wright. The profound fear and trauma, the pain, the exhaustion that black and brown Americans experience every single day in the United States of America. But here, all lives matter. Every day. This president's speech before we received our passports and and citizenship papers where he said, it's terrible what's happening in your country with your people. And he mentioned that Sierra Leone isn't a perfect place, but the fact that the matter is now you have an option. None of us expected that when President Bio said that they see us and that we have options, I felt more free. I felt like I had somebody who had my back. I have a whole president in a whole country that says, we see you, we see what's happening, and you don't have to put up with it. And the last ruling house is in Bume ruling house. We have Shazel Muhammad Niaim. Nia, right Nia. You? Yes. All right. Belong to me. Uh, you belong to the Mbome family. Mbome. Yes. Your traditional name is Manu Mbome. Manu. Manu. Abaji, Abaji. Manu, Manu is somebody who always <laughs> forgives. You forgive people. You, you have mercy on people. Yeah. You always have mercy on people. You don't like it. So, oh, no, yes. Yeah, so that's when they say that's Manu, high, eh? <laughs> people come and say, even that was definitely one of my highlights. The name that I received was Manu. It really closely matched my personality and it matched very closely a name that I had been called since a very little girl, Nunu. And I was like, my ancestors have guided those who have named me. My experience with this trip with African Ancestry Family Reunion has been really great. And I really didn't know exactly all what to expect, but it has turned out to be really great for me. I especially love the naming ceremonies that we attended. I love the way the people met us singing and they sang pretty much the whole time that we were with them. They met us at the boat and they sang with us as we walked and it was just a beautiful experience. Ajiga 
After the ceremony, I like that they planted a tree so that the returnees there have something to come back to and know, well, this is my, this is my place. I have this tree that represents me. So I thought that was a really nice experience. Walk out of these doors into the garden and look left, and you will see the cotton tree. It is older than the United States of America. You are also surrounded by a rich history, a history that unites us, a history of our common ancestry. Walk half a mile from the cotton tree, and there is the wharf from which free slaves returned home in 1787 and founded this very historic city. That's how some of them kept their heritage, their Timini heritage. My name is Francis Musa Momo and I'm the Research and Development Officer at Monuments and Relics Commission, which is in the Ministry of Tourism and Cultural Affairs. What we do is to preserve the culture and history of Sierra Leone, which is the, the pivot around which tourism works. Once people move through culture, it means that they want to get themselves entrenched in the society and learn the practices, the life and living patterns of the people, which is very key. Coming home has so much impact for the people who travel and for the country. There's a cultural impact to this work, to the return to Sierra Leone. And now there is the ability to support community projects. So one of the things that I plan on doing and I began already is A, making a connection between my background, just being an artist, being a musician, being an engineer, and meeting young musicians. I want to make the connection of at least being able to contribute some kind of resources to make the art that I experienced even more expansive. But I'd like to also bring my colleagues to the table. I'd like to bring the manufacturers to the table, the companies I've endorsed over 30 years, to be able to donate and support uh, with speakers and power cables and microphones and so on. So immediately I want to start with that piece. Right now in our midst, we have a special guest. Two-time Grammy Award winning. started drumming and the whole place just erupted. It was incredible, the feeling of connection, not only that we were feeling as the descendants, but that it was two ways. They were feeling it just as equally. And then of course there's the financial impact of returning home. The tourism dollars, go without saying, contributes to the economy. Some of us may not be ready today, may not be ready in six months to transact business. What does that look like beyond six months? I plan to do at least three things. One of them is to buy land because we know that our ancestors so greatly honored and respected the land and to be able to connect and buy land and have a place where my family can come back and put their feet down on the soil that our ancestors once left is powerful. There's a spiritual impact. We're honoring the ancestors and we know how important ancestors are to us as African people. And so to be able to learn who they are in a sense and then return to their land is the utmost honor that one can provide. What African ancestry does is go beyond the slave story and go right back to the origins. So I want to applaud the work you've done and the work you continue to do. My experience traveling with African ancestry has been top of the line and that's really hard to do because I run a travel company taking 
black people all across 13 countries in Africa. And I've traveled all over the world. This is my 102nd country. So I had very high expectations and they surpassed all of them. The access that we had, we met the mayor, we met the president, I shook the president's hand. The level of access we had was just unheard of. It was unexpected and it made their trip that much deeper, that much more meaningful, that much more authentic. It seemed almost, almost effortless. I know it wasn't effortless because a lot of work and relationship building has gone into it. And that's the thing that I think I'm most overall grateful for traveling with African Ancestry Family Reunion. You can see the work, you can see the passion, you can see the love that's gone into making this trip as great as it has been. They're doing heart work. They're doing purpose work. They're doing it for the ancestors. They really care about you and your experience. It's not just a business to them. They've been doing it for 18 years, and so now transforming into the travel sector has been no different. From showing me who I am with the science and the DNA to physically taking me to Africa and showing me the time of my life in Sierra Leone. I can't wait to go to all the other locations. And then they did something that nobody literally in the world can do uh, besides your parents if you're from here, which is give us the access and the opportunity to be able to reclaim our birthright, access citizenship, and actually get a passport from Sierra Leone in hand. I now declare each one of you citizens of this our noble and great country, Sierra Leone. So we did it. We got our passports. We are official tissue, official citizens of Sierra Leone. We just came back. We remembered where we were from. It was always there. We just claimed our birthright. You can too. These are all my brethren. When we started this, we had no idea that there would be a day like this. Absolutely no idea. Just like when you took the test, you had no idea that there would be a day like this. Just like when your ancestors were stolen from here, they had no idea that there would be a day like this. And so we have a lot to celebrate. We have a lot to be proud of. And I thank you all for being part of the African Ancestry family. So I want you to dance Sarah Liu, to sing Sarah Liu, to eat Sarah Liu, to feel Sarah Liu, and to be in Sarah Liu. <laughs> Eyeball, cheers. 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 Eyeball, cheers.